Hello and welcome back, G-Man in the Studio Lab. Today I am doing some patches with the Pittsburgh Modular Flamingo. What's that? Flamingo is a proof of concept, limited release, intended to push the boundaries of analog synthesis into unknown territory. It uses an uncharted method called centered clipping to deform and modify existing audio waveforms in new and interesting ways. The results produce new harmonics that can be further shaped by your VCAs and filters. Let's look at how the production version varies from the prototype that we've seen before. Gone is the solid pink panel. Personally, I liked the pink, it had personality, but many others were crying out about that one. And the production version is also smaller at 8 HP. That's because the sine and sawtooth oscillators were 86th. Instead, you can run any sorts of waveforms through the Flamingo you desire. I'll be using Captain Big O and Primary Oscillator B for VCOs, Batumi for LFOs, my SH5 VCF dual filters. Let's get into some patching some sounds. I'll send Pitch CV from a Keystep Pro into the Primary Oscillator and Captain Big O. A sine wave will go into the Flamingo input. The Flamingo clipped output goes to the Xeroscope and it will show you what it looks like. And then on the mixer, we can hear it. Yep, it sounds like a big fat sine wave. First, let's run an LFO from Batumi into the Crest CV input. It sounds like a half wave VCA. Activating the trough clipping makes it like a full VCA. Changing the speed of the LFO begins to do interesting things. Switch the source to Sawtooth. You can already see what's up. We need audio rate modulation, like an oscillator. Grab a Sawtooth from Captain Big O and turn the CV amount up. Let's patch some Flamingo into the Big O wave folder. Some harsh frequencies can be tamed by running that into a filter. And run the filter into a VCA as well. Gates from the Keystep Pro will trigger my dual envelope, which will go to both the VCA and filter. Getting rid of the wave folder, just the Flamingo Clipper output. Reducing the Crest CV so you can hear just the sawtooth. Change the output to Overtone. The drift amount adds DC bias to hit the clipper in a different way and then the interpolate output. The focus button removes DC offsets before it hits the interpolation stage. Let's add the wave folder back in. Change the pitch of Big O. Like 
like ring mod, setting the modulator pitch close to the source pitch sounds really nice. Let's bring a little sequence back into it. And back to a droning note now. Really cut the wave. Man, that thing screams. Good lord. a simpler sine wave. <laughs> How does that sound going through bandpass mode? Oscillator fragments output for the source. You definitely need to modulate fragments with an LFO. Man, that is ridiculous. Reducing the Crest CV on Flamingo. The Crest CV can be inverted. The Big O is also getting a small amount of linear pitch modulation. Changing from sine to triangle. To solve. How does the timbre output sound?
eco-modulation to exponential. So I'm sure that some of you are wondering if Flamingo can deal with control voltages. Sending an LFO to the Flamingo input, and the Crest CV will get a square wave from Big O. We'll take the clipping output through the scope, and onto the filter CV1 input. So far, Flamingo is modulating just the top half. Nice. Activating trough will modulate both the top and bottom half. Let's change the LFO to RAM. We can try the modulation as an LFO itself as well. Changing the output to overtone. Unfortunately, the interpolate output doesn't do well with control voltages as an input. Let's go with the wave folder itself as a modulator. That's weird stuff. Change it to a square. And some more linear FM again. That's it for today. The Pittsburgh Modular Flamingo. Crazy stuff. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.